this is Shell of Shell's Creations. Today I want to show you how you can recolor multicolored items, specifically in this case the Baker's Twine, using the channels in the Hue Saturation dialog box of Photoshop. Uh, as I mentioned, today we're going to be working with the CU Baker's Twine Aqua Brown. I actually have Baker's Twine in a variety of multicolored strands, but I chose this one in particular because I felt like it would be the easiest for us to recolor using those channels. I can tell you exactly what to do to change just this one, but I want to teach you how you can change other multicolored items as well. The first thing is to understand what color you're working with. When you've got an object, you need to understand whether the aqua that we are working with here, um, in this case, if it is made up of greens and blues, or if it's made up primarily of cyans. And so the, the way that I check that is to add a hue saturation layer, which brings up our adjustments dialog box. And I'm going to choose the channels that I'm talking about are right here under Master. If you click on that, you'll notice that there are um, an assortment of channels that you can play with. We're going to check, check this, the cyan box. And then if you desaturate just the cyan channel, you'll see, did it affect the browns? No, it did not affect the browns. Um, it only affected the cyan, but it did affect that completely. That does look completely desaturated. So that tells me that if I want to play with this color, Let's take that back to zero. If I want to leave the brown the same and just play with the cyan color, if I'll change to the cyan dialog box, then I can go ahead and adjust it and make it a brown and green string. I can make it a brown and yellow string, a brown and orange for fall. You probably want to bump up the saturation on that a little. Um, okay, let's go the other direction. I can go brown and blue. I can keep moving it brown and purple, even all the way over here to brown and pink. I don't, I play a lot with the saturation. You can turn it up, turn it down a little, whatever you like. I don't usually mess with the lightness down here. You can adjust it a little bit and not have it fade out too much, but you don't want to play with the lightness very much. Uh, okay, let's take that back to zero. We also have to discover what channel we are working with when we're do, if we wanted to change the brown color. In this case, I can tell you that the brown is mostly made up of reds. If we do the red channel and hit desaturation all the way down to zero, you can see we haven't completely taken all the color out of here. The brown is typically made up of red and a little bit of yellow, um, but we've taken most of it out. And because of it, and also the red does not affect the cyan channel as well, or the cyan parts of the string. So we can make most of our changes in the red channel and achieve what we're looking for. For example, let's take that back up to zero. Um, and let's bump up the saturation quite a bit because brown is quite desaturated. There's a brighter tan or brown in with it uh, and we can go ahead and slide this hue saturation box and turn it to a green, a yellow green, more of a blue green. Let's go the opposite direction. We could find a red in here. We probably to do red would have to bump up the saturation quite a bit. Um, purples, there you can see that we can achieve an assortment of different colors there if it's the brown color that we want to change and we do that through the reds channel. Okay, let's go back to zero on everything. If I had a string like this and I wanted it to match a kit or a layout or certain colors and I knew what I wanted it to match, the first step I would look for is on the master channel. I would look and see if there's something that I could achieve without having to mess with the individual channels themselves. So let's say we wanted to put this string in, in a spring kit and we wanted it to be a pink, a softer pink, and a lime green. Not too bright lime green, but a, a green that's definitely on the yellow side. Let's slide our master channel and see what we can find. Oh, what do you know? There's pink and green, but that's more of a pink and forest green. Let's make sure the pink's what we want. Yeah, right there in kind of a melon color, but now our green isn't. And now you have to know, did that pink come from, is, is the pink the aqua or is the pink the brown? If you can't remember, make that disappear. You know, hold your finger on a spot and see. Okay, it's the brown that we're going to need to fix still. Let's reopen that adjustments dialog box. Okay, so now let's go to the reds because we know reds affects our browns and let's just change that one. Um, it's too blue of a green for me right now, so I need to go the opposite direction. I want it to be more of a yellowy green. Yeah, something like that. There you go. You can do a combination of the different channels in order to make something match. Um, another example for that, if I specifically knew I wanted it to match a certain kit, let's take this one all the way back to zero on both our master channel and our reds channel. And this time I'm going to clip the hue saturation channel to my string because I only want to affect that. 
I'm going to put a new layer below and I want to fill that layer with a color that I'm going to try and have. Um, I'm going to say that I'm going to make a an underwater kit here and my underwater kit is going to have, uh, boy I'm stuck on a lime green today aren't I? Um, I want it to have, let's see, we're going to pick a color here that we think might be our seaweed under the sea, a little darker than that, something like something about like this, okay, I, and I, the aqua in it seems natural to fit with under the sea, so I'm going to leave the aqua channel the same, but I want that brown to now be this green color, and so in my opening, reopening my hue saturation adjustment box, uh, remember I'm going to want to mess with the red channel because that's how I change the brown, and I'm going to shift it and see if I can find that green, I think I'll have to go this way, uh, adjust the uh, saturation. You might want to zoom in close and make sure that you're getting what you want. That looks like I'm going too far to the blue. Bring it back a little bit. Again, it's the color I'm going for is more saturated. So, oh, there we go. Now I'm getting closer. And um, adding that color fill layer behind will help you make sure that the color that you're achieving is what you're looking for. Uh, and so if I were actually going to recolor this to be the colors, that's how I would do it. I'd add that color fill layer behind and, I, and then I would go ahead and tweak the colors. Um, if at this point you knew that the other color that you wanted this aqua to be, let's say that it's it's much more of a turquoise than this or something. Let's, let's pick a color for it. Right now it's this color and let's say that we wanted it to be uh, more of a, yeah, there we go. Let's pick this color is going to be our under the under the sea. Now we have a ch an option of going back to this original hue saturation dialog box and adjusting a different channel within that dialog within that box or you could make an additional layer and adjust the color on that one and I probably would recommend that one. Here on this layer is where I've turned the brown to brown to green and so now I'm going to make another layer uh, on top of this and I'm going to again clip it to it but this time this one I'm going to be call call it taking the uh, aqua to hmm, even more of an aqua aqua green I'll call it so that we know what we're headed for that way, if I need to use two different strings from this CU collection, maybe I wanted to have this swirly bows and I also wanted to have another bow or a tag loop, I could drag these layers on top of that. Okay, let's open up that adjustments dialog box so that we can go ahead and change that. Remember to affect this blue pieces of the string. It's the cyan channel. And then we just need to adjust those. Here we go. Slide it this way until it matches about what I'm looking for right there. Okay, that's the procedure that I would go through to change it to match colors from my color scheme. If you have any questions, you can reach me at shells.creations1 at gmail.com. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. Then subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be one of the first to know when I release new videos. We discuss topics like this each month in our webinars for our Designers Club. The details are in the video description below. See you next time. <music>